Right guys, so uh, I got my GoPro in the car, attached to the uh, windscreen this time, uh, in a good position that doesn't obstruct my view, or hopefully it won't. Anyway, it's in the it's in the centre at the bottom there, so it should be, I've got a fairly decent field of view. I might change it a little bit, I might reposition it at some point, uh, get my old device on. Obviously, you guys know what I'm trying. I'm looking at my uh, preview screen on my phone still. I'll get over that at some point, uh, but I still can't quite understand what the view is. Um, but yeah, this is my little device, if you don't know. So this goes on the steering wheel like so and clicks in, and then I have to turn this thing on. I have to press it for about really 20 seconds before it comes on. There we go, it's on. So yeah, I thought what I'd do, I'm, I'm driving to the post office, well not the post office, the Hermes shop, but you know, it's all the same thing to me. Uh, I'm driving to the Hermes shop, got a lot, load of parcels there. I thought I'd just ramble and see what kind of video comes out of this. I thought I'd talk a little bit about like kind of my buying in quarter four for next year, so buying Lego and sales and stuff like that, um, and kind of Q4 sales and stuff, and just have a chat about that. So anyway, we'll get off now. I will keep my eyes on the road, obviously, um, and I will make sure we are cool and I'm driving safe as well, because I don't particularly feel 100% comfortable with recording myself in the car while I'm driving. When I've done it before, my mum's been in the car and she's recorded me, or someone else has been in the car and they've recorded me at least. But, you know, I just feel, it just feels a bit odd, I suppose. I mean, it's not necessarily directly uncomfortable, but it's it's just odd. It's just really, uh, maybe a little bit apprehensive about it. But anyway, that aside, uh, Lego. So, um, I'm going to be buying some more Lego from the Lego sales in... Oh, things are dropping off. I'll have to make sure I get that when uh, it comes to going to the Hermes shop because it just fell down the end of uh, a seat. Um, so yeah, basically Lego in December, I am going to be buying a load um, from various different places. I'm not going to say what places I'm buying them from because, of course, that'd be stupid. As I've said before, I'm just going to shoot myself in the foot if I do that. So I won't be saying to anyone uh, where I'm buying the, these things from. In fact, I don't even really know myself where I'm going to be buying these things from at the moment because, of course, you know, I mean... I don't know, I'm going to be looking online and stuff and I might come across a, a site that I don't even know of yet. So, yeah, oh, cool, we're clear. We're clear. So, um, yeah, I'm literally just going to... Oh, there's a car here. Is, is he coming off? What's he doing here? Bloody hell. That's a, uh, it's all right. It's okay. We're just waiting. Um, anyway, yeah, so I don't even know what sites I might be buying them off. I don't really know where. I mean, I know a few places, but not all of the places, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be buying it though, I'm going to be buying quite a lot, I've got a bit of cash flow or a little bit of cash saved up um, as a kind of backup for obviously just for that, buying Lego and buying other stuff for next Q4, so that's going to be cool. Um, I'll probably do a video because I am going to be dropping a little bit of money on it um, and I might, I think that's a good opportunity to actually do a video. Oh, got to get around here, watch this. Yeah. Oh, tight gap, tight gap, there we go, all right is turned anyway um so yeah i am going to be dropping a little bit of money on it so i think it's actually a good idea to kind of show that in a video not share exactly what i picked up but kind of just talk through it a little bit and uh, yeah and just kind of share with you guys what what amount of money i purchased uh, the lego with you know how much money i've spent um and maybe i might show a few other things but not all of them because Again, that's just kind of shooting myself in the foot a little bit. So I'll just share a few bits and bobs, I think. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my plans with the Lego. And also I'll probably buy a few toys for quarter four. Um, not tons. Oh, things are falling like left, right and centre here. If it's not the GoPro, it's the blooming items in the... Oh God, this is tight here. Uh, it's the items in the back, innit? With bloody parcels and stuff. Oh, and there's a big flood down here from all the rain we've had. Oh, great. How am I getting through? Oh, well, I can't even go on the other side of the road because there's loads of other cars there, so I'm just going to have to go slow for it. No one behind me, really, anyway. Whoa, did you, did you hear that? I don't know whether you heard that, but yeah, there's a load of water there. Just better test my brakes a bit, actually. If you don't know, I'm an incredibly cautious driver, even though I'm 24 years old. I'm very, very cautious with it. I, I'm not particularly fond of driving. I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there who love it and we go 70 mile an hour, 80 mile an hour, and 
go. I mean, we're driving down a 40 mile an hour road now. I'm only doing like 33, 34 because there's no one behind me. But I can see there's someone behind me now, so I'm obviously going to go up to 40. But yeah, I'm just like that. I don't particularly like going fast. I don't particularly have any ambition to go fast. I just drive the way I drive and I like doing it. I don't go really, really slow because obviously that can be dangerous. Going really, really slow can be as dangerous as going really, really fast. But if there's no one behind me, I do go about five miles behind the speed limit because I'm just not bothered. I don't like getting places really, really quickly. I mean, I'm very lucky because I don't have to have a commute or anything. So I don't need to be really, really fast getting to places. And I understand that, you know, with some people, they like to get places fast because of they feel like they're, you know, they're restricted by that time, or maybe they are restricted by that time in what one regard, but yeah, for myself, I don't really go incredibly fast. Um, but yeah, so what I was saying, so I was gonna uh, buy some toys and stuff, I'm thinking I might buy some toys as well, not just the Lego, but some other toys. So, anyway, I'm not, I'm not actually far off uh, from the parcel shop now, I'm only about another three minutes in the car, two or three minutes or something. So, uh, I'll talk about eBay sales. So, well not eBay sales, but both eBay and Amazon. So, they've both been slow, as you know, I mean, so it's been slow for so many people. Things are dropping again down there, my god, is he going to let me go? Nope. That's okay though, because he didn't really have time to let me go. Um, so yeah, eBay and Amazon sales have been slow. Oh my God. Uh, I've not been listing much on eBay. I've been listing a, a fair bit on Amazon the last few weeks. Not so much this week, but you know, a couple of weeks ago I was. I was listing quite a lot. I've been getting a few sales on Amazon. It's currently the 16th of November. So we've still got a while to go till Q4 really heats up. Normally end of November uh, and then early December and then right through to pretty much a few days before Christmas, that's when it really uh, gets going, so you know, all, all through that kind of time period. So um, yeah, I'm just plowing on, I'm I really need to get some listing done on eBay, I'm going to be doing that the next few days, and uh, we'll just see if the sales pick up, hopefully as we say when we get into sort of mid, uh, well sort of early December, mid December, it'll really pick up. This is a terrible place to park, why the hell do you park on a bloody turn? For God's sake, I have to get my car through, like, bloody, when, when there's only an inch either side of the bloody other cars coming through. Anyway, so, um, essentially, yeah, eBay sales haven't been brilliant, um, and hopefully they will pick up. I've got to turn here now, because we're off to, we're getting to the parcel shop, lads, and it's clear. I basically have to pull up on the side of the road, and it's clear today, which is always brilliant. I hate it when there's, like, a billion cars on here. It's ridiculous, but, yeah. It's clear today, so we're cool. I'll pull right up to the end so that then someone can get on behind me if you want. Oh, that, that could have sounded dirty then. That actually could have sounded dirty, uh, but it didn't. It was okay. Anyway, we've put the car in drive and we put the little, you know, the handbrake on so we're cool. Um, oh, I can turn this off as well. Yeah, essentially with eBay sales, um, hopefully it'll just pick up. I'm going to get, I, as I say, I'm going to get a lot of eBay listing done because I need to. I seriously need to get some good eBay listing done. So I'm going to get that done and hopefully then... Uh, come sort of December. It'll be okay. It'll be an all right Q4, but I'm not really holding out for anything brilliant this year with the glitches, with everything that's been going on, with me not putting as much effort in this Q4 as I normally do, if I'm totally honest, I just haven't been doing. Um, and I probably, even in the next, even in the next few weeks, I will put a bit more effort in, but I'm still not going to put as much as I normally do in. So, uh, yeah, I, I think with all that considered, uh, it's not going to be a brilliant Q4 for me, but if I can just stay with my head above, above water and I can reinvest fairly decently for next year with the cash that I've got and potentially the cash that I'm going to get in the next few weeks from other sales, then I should be okay. And then obviously next year will be really, really good. And also I'm going to be getting back into buying some more toys from auctions um, over the next few months. And then that'll help up, help with my sales velocity, as people call it, or sell through rate or whatever. Um, and then obviously that means that I've got more cash to play with in that way as well. So yeah, we'll just have to see, but I'll leave it there anyway, because I've got to get these parcels out. I don't want to stay on here too long because obviously some other people might want to come and stuff. So I'll get in there and, and uh, drop these parcels off. I suppose I'll wrap it up for the video. So thanks for watching guys. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon guys. <laughs>